In this video, I want to show you how to edit a lookup data type. So often we make mistakes when we're working with a database uh, and its design, and so we want to edit what's going on. So let me fit this in here. So there, it's fitting pretty well. Here's an example where I have uh, tables that are related, and in this case we have a table where technicians are going to measure or analyze products. And in this case, this product ID is not detailed enough. I cannot determine which of these two products it is that I want to select for analysis. So what I want to do is go into the design view and edit this lookup data type that was uh, created, say, using the wizard. The wizard is useful, but it's kind of simplistic, and sometimes we want to do things a little bit more complicated, and that's what I'm going to show you here. So here's the product ID. In this lookup tab, I go to row source. Here's the query associated with that lookup. And if I click on the little ellipsis, I see the data fields that are associated. So I have a product ID and the name. Well, I'd also like to know the type and the description and the packaging. And I'd like to know the distributor, but I don't want to see the ID. That ID doesn't really mean anything to me. So I'm going to add the distributor table to this query and now I can add the distributor name to this lookup type that will help me determine which of these products are appropriate. So this is editing a query to help you with lookups. So I'm going to close this and it's going to ask me, do you want to save the changes because it's going to change some other things? You go, sure. Now, here's Another aspect of this, and it's not tricky, but you want to take care of it. If I just save this as it is, I've only got two columns, and I don't show the headings. I think I'll change that to a yes. Uh, I've only got two columns. Well, really, I've got a whole bunch of columns. I've got like five or six columns. I've forgotten how many I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So I really have six here, and the list width is only one inch. So I would be cramming six columns into one inch. So if I was to look at this, I'd still only see these, this one column called the name. The ID is hidden. What happened to all those others? Well, you have to show them. So the first one is hidden. That's what that little zero, that tiny little zero is. It's hidden. If I change that to one, then I'd be able to see there's the product ID, and I'm only and I'm showing two columns. But in general, I don't really want to see that ID, so I'm going to change that to a zero. Now, I'd like to see all these other columns that I added so that I can choose between the products. I think I had six columns. So this is very tiny. There's a little semicolon there. I'm just going to copy and paste that uh, six times. You can't see, I'm using the control V. So there I've got, I've got seven. So I can get rid of that last little bit. So there's six columns, each an inch wide. There's the six. Uh, I'm binding the first column, which is the ID. I'm hiding it. And the list width, well, it was one inch. Maybe I ought to make it five inches. That's a good start anyway. Some of these are like the uh, distributor's name is probably, I need more than one inch to fit it in there, but you, you'll get the idea. And now when I uh, look at this, there's the product, and now I can see this other information. So I've got two products called, called Breathe Easy, but one is the 50 mil, one's the 100 mil, and the 100 mil is distributed by this company, the 50 mil by this company. And so this helps you determine which, which product is it that I'm selecting to do the assessment of. 
If I wanted to make this look better, I'd make distributor name a little bit bigger and maybe product description a little bit bigger. Here I'll do that really quick. Here I'll make this, that last one was product or distributor name. I'll make it two inches. So I added an inch. I'll make that six. And see it makes that a little bit easier to read. And then when I create a form from this, the, the form will also look nice. So where do, there's product ID and see it's all set up for you because your table was set up correctly. So I hope that hope that helps you editing lookup types.